My name is Jesse Anderson, and I'm a manufacturing engineer here at SpaceX. I'm so excited to be here with you today, along with my co-hosts, bringing you coverage of the second launch of Falcon Heavy. It's the first Falcon Heavy launch carrying a payload for a customer, and tonight our customer is Arabsat. And I'm Alex Siegel. I'm a material planner here at SpaceX. We first flew our Falcon Heavy vehicle a little more than a year ago. It is the world's most powerful operational rocket by a factor of two with 28 engines, three boosters, three separation events, and three landing attempts, there's going to be a lot of activity happening all at once. The payload tonight is a geostationary communication satellite, which will provide state-of-the-art communication services to customers in the Middle East and Africa. Good Thursday afternoon. I'm John Innsbrucker, the Falcon Principal Integration Engineer at SpaceX. We are T-minus 10 minutes, 28 seconds, from the launch of the Falcon Heavy. As I like to say in my updates, the SpaceX team is working no significant issues and is on time for launch. Five, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, let's go. Center core at deep throttle. T plus 33 seconds into flight. Under the power of 5.1 million pounds of thrust, Falcon Heavy is headed to space. We're throttling down at T plus 40 seconds to prepare for bucket. maximum dynamic pressure. Power telemetry are nominal. We're hearing reports. Power and telemetry are nominal. Vehicle is supersonic. You may have heard the call out on Side net one. Vehicle is supersonic. Side boosters are throttling back up on power as we're Max through Q. the period of maximum dynamic pressure. <laughs> Trajectory looking good. You can hear the applause behind me as we've gotten past maximum dynamic pressure. Next event coming up is chill-in of the MVAC-D engine. Get the turbo pump ready to ignite the main engine on the second stage in another couple of minutes. Merlin engine performance looks good. We've begun dropping power on the side boosters to decrease loads on the center core. Second load limiting shutdown. Continuing to decrease loads to minimize acceleration on the Falcon Heavy structure. Coming up on booster engine cutoff called BECO and separation of the two side boosters. And back engine chill. BECO. Separation Successful separation, if you can hear me over the cheering. Side boosters now beginning a flip to begin returning back to Cape Canaveral. Side boosters have begun the boost back burn. The center core has throttled back up to power. Everything looking good on the flight of Falcon Heavy. The next major event, main engine cutoff of the center core and separation ignition of the second stage. Bottom middle view shows the view looking up into the nozzle of the second stage engine. Miko. Main engine cutoff, center core is shut down. And 
recognition. Again, over the cheering, MVAC D engine up on power. It looks good. Side boosters looking good, still burning on their way back to Cape Canaveral. Grid fins are out on the center core. Fairing separation confirmed. Here comes the fairing separation, and there it goes. We also have successful shutdown of the side booster boost back burn. So T plus, four minutes, 25 seconds into flight. Side boosters on their way back to Cape Canaveral. Center core coasting Stage out over the Atlantic. Stage two nominal. Stage two looking good with a nominal trajectory. And as you guys have noticed, the grid fins have deployed on the side boosters as well as the center core. Those work to help guide the boosters back to a nice targeted soft landing. Let's see those heading home right now. As a reminder, today we'll be attempting to recover all three of the first stage cores, and all three boosters are currently on their way heading home. In just a few minutes, the side boosters will execute an entry burn, followed by a landing burn, and the center core will do much the same a few minutes later. Both burns are meant to slow the stage's speed down rapidly before landing. At the time of separation, the side boosters were traveling slow enough to turn around and make their way Stage back to land at our side-by-side -side landing pads. The center core, on the other hand, is going too fast to efficiently return to the Cape, so we're using our autonomous drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. If we have a successful landing today, the side boosters will be reflown on our next Falcon Heavy mission, STP-2. Now, coming up at about T plus six minutes will be the side boosters re-entry burn. Position of signal Bermuda. So you'll see the side boosters on your left and right screen. Side booster entry burn has started. And there's the re-entry burn beginning. Stage two trajectory nominal. And the re-entry burn is complete for the side boosters. Now coming up in about 30 seconds, the center core, which you see on your center screen, will begin its re-entry burn. Entry burn has started. Side boosters are transonic. And there you can see the re-entry burn for center core has begun. Coming up in about five seconds here, the side boosters landing burn will begin as well. for the engine to shut down on the second stage and for the center core to land. Now, if all goes well, we'll have successfully recovered all three boosters, which we have never done before. Now, coming up in about 20 seconds, we're going to listen for confirmation of SECO-1, or second engine cutoff Church 1. AOS.
Ben back shutdown. And we have confirmation. Now we're just waiting to hear good down. orbit. Nominal orbit insertion. And we have that confirmed. Good orbit. Now coming up here in about 15 seconds will be the center core landing burn beginning. So again, as we mentioned earlier, this is going to be a challenging landing. One, lane and we are starting landing on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. And Looks like we lost the live view. Waiting for some confirmation, and it sounds like we landed the center core on our drone ship. But we have landed the center core for the first time on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. For the first time, we've landed all three boosters for Falcon Heavy. What an amazing day. So now we are going to take a quick break. <laughs> you can hear our crowd going wild. Three for three boosters today on Falcon Heavy. What an amazing accomplishment. So now the primary mission is still going well. We are about to take, we are about to enter the coast phase, so we're going to take a quick break. But we'll leave you with an animation that shows you where we are throughout the coast phase. We will be back at about T plus 26 minutes for second stage relight and the deployment of our satellite. Now coming up in about 20 seconds, we're gonna get ignition, about a brief reignition of the upper stage engine to carry the payload into the desired transfer orbit. And back ignition. Confirmation of ignition. We are up at the desired power. Tank pressure looks good. The turbine temps look good. You may have seen just before ignition, the large white fluffy pieces moving away. That is solid oxygen. The stuff you breathe, it's so cold that it's solid, but it is not very dense, it's very fluffy and it is actually attached to one of the liquid oxygen overboard drain lines that we use. So coming off is normal. Now this burn is about an 85 second burn. In that time, we'll add 2,800 meters per second to our velocity. That's more than the side boosters provided early in flight, almost as much as what the center core gave us. We've throttled down the engine to keep accelerations below the limit for our AeroSat customer. Everything continues to look good. The views of the nozzle of the upper stage engine coming from two SpaceX cameras on either side of the second stage. Continuing to throttle down, and we have shut down. And back shut down. Right now we're waiting to hear what the final orbit looks like. Nominal orbit insertion. Guidance engineer over one of the nets announced nominal orbit insertion. Right where we want to be, we're on a path that'll take us almost 90,000 kilometers up above the Earth. Well, now we're in the good orbit we wanted. We're going to coast for the next five minutes or so. We'll be back with continuing coverage at T plus 33 minutes for the final step in today's mission, deployment of the AeroSat 6A satellite. Welcome back, T plus 33 minutes, 29 seconds since liftoff. We're about half a minute away from the deployment of the AeroSat 6A satellite. Now currently the second stage has begun a slow spin up. That'll help stabilize the satellite. It'll retain that spin when it separates from the second stage. Currently, the camera view has switched forward looking at the AeroSat 6A spacecraft. And if you've just joined us now, you've missed a great day. Both side boosters landed at the Cape. 
Center core landed, second stage right in the desired orbit. And now we're waiting for separation. Spacecraft separation confirmed. As you can tell behind me, the folks who watched the mission cheering, Arabsat 6A headed away into the desired orbit, doing its mission in space. That puts a capper on what's been a completely normal day here at SpaceX.